Good evening and welcome to Back Chat. I'm your host, Temba Madima. This evening we're chatting to Umpo Lynx, a high jumper, a talented uh, man with spring in his legs. Uh, he's going to be coming on with us now. So good evening and welcome to you all. My name is Temba Madima. This evening we're having another episode of Back Chat. It is episode number 67. Hey, yeah, we've been busy. Um, and yeah, it's good. Let's keep the conversations going because... It's important to South Africa. I see Lynx is in here. I was going to send him an invite. And then we're going to go live. So make sure send them through. Uh, we want to hear them. Good evening and welcome to Back Chat. I'm your host, Temba Madima. Chatting to Mpo Lynx. Mpo. Oh, Brati. How's it? How's it? No, I'm good. Thanks on yourself. Super, man. Hey, it's been a minute. Eh? I haven't seen you in a long time. <laughs> yeah, it's been a minute. Yo, coronavirus, yeah, it's been, it's been... coronavirus, hey man. But I mean, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> good to see you. Uh, good to have you here. Um, yeah, we're gonna have a good one. Uh, I think you do have an amazing story that we need to share, you know, with everybody. So yeah, yeah we'll get yeah. we'll get into that soon. Definitely. All right. Uh, you know, do a few welcomes. I see Danny Ashlyn. Uh, welcome, SM. Ntumbu, what is Ntumbu? Is it SM2? Uh, we've got Les Nubian is in here. Boka Mus. By the way, that's the fiance. Oh, fiance. Uh, welcome. Yeah. Uh, uh, all protocol observed. Uh, welcome, uh, fiance. Uh, kick the high jumper. Uh, welcome, brother. Thanks for joining in. Uh, Tama Buk- uh, Bukasa. We've got Tatenda Archie. Thanks for joining in, guys. Uh, it's going to be a good one. And yeah, I'm excited, man. How have you been otherwise? No, I've been good. I've been good. Been working with what we have. Obviously, you know, the tracks and stuff. We feel the athletes can't actually hey. do much, you know. So I've just been running up and down, trying to be fit and all. So you've been a, a, an off-season Kenyan distance runner? <laughs> Basically, if you see <laughs> me now, I'm sure I can do a nice 8K. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, but it's good, man. It's good. As yeah, long as you've been keeping busy, uh, 2021 is going to be a, 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 an interesting year, I believe. I believe the world nah, is going to perform at a different level next year, man. Uh, believe you me. True. True, because, I mean, now I think, you know, everyone has worked on their mental their mental mm. strength, you know, because with, with the situation and everything, if you haven't worked on your mental strength, oh, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be tough for you for next year, you know. Absolutely, man. I mean, you know, like, it's just a matter of, like, it is what it is, you know, like, it's either you... You, it's what it is. Yeah, you can't keep on complaining, you know. And you can't hide, Chief, because uh, when exactly. the competition starts next year, uh, these young uh, young hyenas are ready to devour Oof. any moment. So, yeah, if you slack, somebody's just there behind you. <laughs> All right, man. Okay, we're going to start with an introduction. Uh, once I've done an introduction, uh, so that people must know, you know, who we're dealing with. You know, they mustn't think it's just yeah. this, uh, it's a Kenyan runner here. This is uh, one of SA's <laughs> best jumpers, you know, they need to know. Uh, so I'll, I'll do yeah. the intro and then we'll get started, yeah? Okay. Cool. Ladies and gentlemen, with us this evening, we've got Mpo Lynx. Uh, he is the African Championships high jump bronze medalist, all Africa Games high jump uh, gold medalist. We've got also the African Under-20 Championships high jump silver medalist, three-time World Student Games finalist, uh, SA Under-23 champion, SA Under-20 uh, champion as well, as well as three-time SA senior champion. Ladies and gentlemen, Mpo Link. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. So welcome, man. Uh, really an honor. I mean... I've known you for years, man, and one thing I've always respected and liked about you is that, you know, you always keep a cool head, um, you, you're you consistent, uh, you're focused, and yeah, you take it serious, man. It's, it's always nice to see uh, people who take uh, athletics serious, so yeah, it's good. Yeah. So yeah, we're going to have, uh, definitely, I want to get into your mind, we need to understand a lot of what's going on in your mind with regards to performance <laughs> and competition. But before we do that, we have to do something important. Uh, we're going to play a game. It's called 30 Seconds, What's in the Bag? So you have a 30 seconds to name as many things yeah. as possible that you have inside of your athletics bag. Coming to you. Three, 
one maziwe uh i have cones okay. i have measuring tape yeah. spikes mm. water water bottle mm-hmm. uh, uh what do you call it you know tennis ball yeah, yeah. for the feet yeah yeah and then that hard ball the soft ball ball yeah yeah and uh, elastic elastic bands okay let's go ciao yeah yeah that's basically it we don't need much as i jump this and time all right 10 ah 10 10 is okay man <laughs> <laughs> you know with I'm, I'm i'm a light i'm a light trainer you know yeah no yeah you're still okay the worst we've had was four you know yeah. uh, renat for van rensburg all the record for uh, uh least things in his bag uh but everything else oh. <laughs> you just import things <laughs> so yeah, yeah it's crazy all right man so yeah let's get started obviously uh ladies and gentlemen if you got any questions make sure to send them through i see les newben is saying right uh, is it is it because you you are links or uh, i don't know is, is it an inside joke or is it because you're a, yeah, you're a light packer <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm leaving the stuff in the bag <laughs> Yeah, no. because you need sneak things inside, you know. Maybe I don't notice them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, man. So l- let's talk. Where did this journey start for you? Uh, obviously, high jump is one of those events where it's a technical event, you know. So it's you know, technical yeah. events, man. They take a lot of time. I mean, at the moment, you're 24 years old, which means if you're to look at um, time and experience-wise, you're still very, very, very yeah. young, you know. Uh, there's still so True, much, so much usually, to usually with, okay yeah usually with us high jumpers you know a person peaks around about 30 years you know yeah exactly yeah. so i mean yeah. definitely have a lot of time when you which is which is a positive you know that that's i think there's a nice thing i think if we look at the high jumpers in south africa at the moment you guys are young I man it's kicks the high jumper yeah. it's, it's uh, uh what is it chris mule as yourself then there's yeah, the breton yeah. pools and yeah. uh, i don't know is that el still jumping i don't know i'm not sure but i mean yeah he's still there he's still there he's still there in the game he's still in the mix as well you know so 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 that's like yeah. fighting for for the sport because i mean you guys have not peaked none of you have peaked yet mm, not yet so how how did your i jump uh, journey start how did you choose i jump and why why do you love it so much i mean it's, it's a weird thing you know cuz you know usually people in i grew up most in in the township yeah, shushanguve yeah. yeah 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 so basically in our township is just soccer soccer and soccer okay. <laughs> you know so yeah in in what is primary school i was just more focused on soccer and everything you know not necessarily on high jump and oh, all position you know were you striker yeah. were you hitting the ball is it <laughs> no i was a striker yeah. i was a striker <laughs> Uh, all those who know me they know me for soccer not not necessarily high jump wow you know okay yeah so i'd say it started grade eight you know we actually uh you know in in high school we just have those coaches we one coach coaches jumps one coaches sprints and all that yeah yeah so yeah the, co- the coach just told, told me like just go try this thing out you know and i actually went and he said you have some talent because mm-hmm. i was one of those athletes we i don't i didn't like training i honestly did not like training it was just one of those things me I, i'm the just jumping <laughs> you know it just take this thing serious you know and i started actually training grade 8 yeah and grade 9 is where i met you you bernard oh um you yeah. yeah so he said you know, come come train with me and i was like yeah it's cool even though yo it was a mission getting to training because you know what i used to do every single day Tell us. so yeah you know as comes comes out got up as one mm. so i'd walk to the train station get a train at 2 o'clock mm. and only get to train at 4 o'clock hey. so from from pretoria no to actually what's that uh what was that station what's i forgot what the station was but mm. they by headfield yeah the headfield station yeah, i used yeah, to get up yeah so basically it was it was that that's the journey for me you know i i was that dedicated mm-hmm. you know i wanted to improve in, in my high jump career you know where i made the sacrifice traveling mm-hmm. that far you know just to meet them you so basically that's how it all started you know yeah i mean yeah it's not easy man i mean i think um especially a sport like athletics 
you know i think it, it teaches you from a very young age of just right from the beginning like how to really like discipline and yeah. commit you know it's not like a team sport where it's aya ba ya ba singing in the time yeah, that's you know exactly with team sports at least you have one person maybe there is a car all of you guys can climb yeah, in yeah. go to the match and even... yeah so but yeah. in video sport and i mean also i mean you, like you said at the township there telling people hey mona me i jump they're like hey you know how, how fast do you run like, 100 you know they, they always they always ask you exactly <laughs> you like i don't know <laughs> i don't run the 100 but i mean uh, Yeah. to choose high jump and then still you know achieve the 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 success you've been able to achieve you know it just goes to show man that's why i said like your your discipline and your focus has always been uh you know out of this world for me so good man keep it up keep it up no thanks thanks let's do a few shout outs i see uh, peter kukumur is in here in sakam shengu welcome uh satefe karabo <laughs> eh chidi so molo molo mai molo antwa eh ye ye molo antwa hey don't butcher people's names here <laughs> mama of the track beatrice uh, verna welcome lungili uh, shibu curly hey ember i saw nicole uh, is in here as well france uh, francis uh, siliga welcome thanks for joining in guys uh, it's always good you know we need to keep these conversations going Uh oh Lucas yeah. Mukucha is in the building as well welcome uh obviously I saw kicks we've already welcomed welcome guys so yeah let's move on so obviously uh high school grade 9 you meet with Ihu he he yeah. basically jutas you hey munna you've got the talent you can do it yeah come three to me <laughs> yeah you know, you know how it is you know how it is <laughs> so, Ihu, I mean you know one thing I like about him is that man his ability to spot talent you know is is out of this yeah, world i mean you there was a time where yourself chris mole were working together we know he's worked with chuck freitag and many other like, yeah. amazing high jumpers male and female you know so yeah that yeah. it's is definitely one of those people man where yo we need to somehow get his brain and uh, pass everything and just, on to somebody yeah, else yeah to someone else yeah. Yeah. but uh, i know he's cuz is definitely a OG in the field like i respect him you with everything that i have you know yeah yeah it's good man we need to you yeah. know i think uh, it's very important okay so obviously yeah, high school and then you you come into your teen years there's essays okay. when does the journey start um at what point did you realize that okay wait besides what people are saying i'm actually good in mm-hmm. this thing you know i can compete uh, on the national level yeah. or you know let's start national level national level i'll say that started they in grade 9 you know but in grade 9 i think i got position what was it third or fourth i think it was fourth mm. in in grade 9 mm. you know i was like okay if i can get fourth position maybe the next year i can get third and all you know i started working hard and yeah. all that then grade 10 i was third in uh, sc schools yeah yeah then grade 11 that's where i was second then from the ai first place all the way because there was some some other guy i don't know if if you might know him tian tian stianka yeah yeah i know him yeah he used to he used to be the one that always gave me Wait, problems you know, you know he's he's there overseas i think he's wait nebraska or kansas somewhere there okay yeah so basically i'd say by journey started from grade 9 we actually took the series you know and so that There's actually a future for me here, you know. Mm. And fast forward, yeah, I am now today. Mm-mm. I see Chris Mule, Christopher uh, Mule has just uh, joined in. He wants to make sure that you you're not saying anything bad about him. Uh, nah. <laughs> <laughs> he's just here for control. Uh, Latoya Mayisa, welcome to you as well. Uh, I see Stompy the Great uh, has jumped in. Uh, thanks for jumping in, guys. Uh, it's always good. It's always good. Okay so then obviously at this stage you know obviously uh, this is what you want to do uh from fourth second and you start winning uh, the championships i mean it's it's amazing because uh, to be able to win SA junior i think SA junior is usually the one where you can say like okay you, you sometimes you know you're still in high school and it's just yeah. it's very fun you know because it's not as uh you just see that you're competing against the same guys you see at school in most cases and whatever but then i think yeah. under 20 is when you start realizing okay wait this, this can turn into 
my young brother to greet. Ah, let him greet. Hey, younger brother Zwagala, Zwagala. Hello. Hello. How are you? How are you? I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> ah, that's cute. You know, it's cute. <laughs> But what are you saying? So I'm saying obviously at uh, under 20 age, that's when you know, okay, this is something that I want to eventually take it into a professional level as well because, I mean, now you're transitioning into a uh, senior. How, how was that transition for you? How did you find the transition from uh, youth, junior level, uh, going yeah. to senior? Because, I mean, at, at youth, you were African under 20 championships, yeah. silver medalist. You know, you've got that international yeah. experience and you know you're one of the best yeah. in Africa as well. How was the transition from junior level to senior for you? I mean, you know, it it was crazy. You know, it was crazy because when I actually got that silver medal, you know, by the junior African Games, I was like, whoa, actually, is it, this what I did? This is for real. You know? And, you know, as, as a youngster, the pressure, you know, gets to you and all that. But actually, they, I stayed calm, you know, and everything. And I was like, let me just, you know, give it my all and see where I can get you know, with everything. Mm. Then I got the silver medal. You know, I was like, okay, if I can actually get a silver medal, you know, by the All African Games for the obviously for the youngsters, mm. I was like, let me use the experience actually mm. to go into you know our nationals and all. You mm. know, and that's that's where actually you. Saw. I think I won. I say it's 2014, and yeah. I was still a junior. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. That where I was like, if I can compete at a stage like that. Then come on, if we come to SA, I should actually, you know, Be use that experience and yeah. just to yeah, do my yeah. Yeah, I mean that's that's a good so to, say, to take, you know. Yeah. So but I'd say over the years, you know, when you get older, you start thinking too much hey. and actually not necessarily just yeah. doing that's that was the problem I'd say twenty when twenty sixteen, yeah, twenty sixteen and twenty eighteen. I actually over thought you know the concept of jumping and everything you know now i'm getting back to my old rhythm as you saw last year with everything you know i was like let me just start enjoying this because i started this thing because i enjoyed it you know mm -hmm. put too much pressure on ourselves and everything that's yo, it takes the ship down and all so i was like you know no pressure on myself let me enjoy this whatever i get i get at the end of the day you know that's what god wanted me to get yeah. yeah, I mean, it's, it's so true, man, because I think um, it's good to obviously understand your sport. You know, I always say in, a, in, in athletics, you need it's one of two yeah. athletes. It's either you, you are super smart and you're able to conceptualize things and then apply them, or you must be not, not very smart, but you must be yeah. like a warrior, you know, don't overthink things and you just boom. Uh, I just go for the key. in the middle there and you, you know, you. You, you you start overthinking things. You can't balance your 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 passion and your ambition and your your mind. Yeah. You can get stuck, you know. So it's, it's very yeah, dangerous. It's very dangerous because I mean, end of the day, if you think about it, if you simplify it, it's just jumping. Uh, yeah, it is just jumping. It's true, you know. Like I mean, one thing that Om Yu has told me is that when you are training, you can over analyze everything, mm. you know, because obviously you're working on your technique and everything, but. In the competition, you've done the repetitions on all those things. So mm. in, the, in the competition, just go for the kill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. Just go for the kill, yeah. man. Go for the kill. So, obviously, yeah. there's, there might be young people out there that, um, you know, there, there's a lot of aspects that you, you need to be a good high jumper, you know. Uh, maybe you can just help mm -hmm. highlight a few. Because, I mean, you know, mostly people will say, ah, you're tall, so you must go do high jump, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah. What, what are some of the, the things that you found, like, important? Uh, what are the basic important foundations of being a good high jumper for me i'll start off with visualization you know if you're a person then actually that can actually visualize what you want to do uh -huh. you know that that's because as a high jumper if you can't see yourself jumping over the bar, uh -huh. then it's, it's not it's not going to happen yeah you know and the tall the tall fact ah, i don't i don't think height necessarily gives a person an advantage you know, it's more about your elasticity of your muscles and everything, you know, mm. being explosive. And, you know, because as you can see with Brayton, yeah. he's explosive. Good example, yeah. Yeah. And, yeah, I'd basically say those two components, uh, you know, 
mentally, if you can visualize and be explosive, you know, because you can be fast and all, but you can't convert that. Yeah. If you can't convert that into time, then ah, it's not going to help. I see a uh, kick the high jumper saying, hey, these guys don't <laughs> want me to win that title, Temba. Hey, Joe, give the guy, <laughs> give the guy a break, man. You know? Yeah, you, we, we have to fight. It's a war. It's a war. You know? <laughs> when it's war, it's war. <laughs> Exactly. You can't give someone, you know, the title. He has to actually, you know, fight for it. Hey, you've been selfish with this title, man. I mean, you know, you, you finished, you won SA under 20. Uh, no, you, you, what is it? SA under 20, yeah, you won that. You won yeah. SA under 23. Yeah, you're coming to senior. You've got three titles. I mean, this would have been year number yeah. four, which means that the past oh, three yeah. years, uh, you don't want. Who, me? Yeah. Nah, I've, yo, I was I was struggling. 20, 2016, I actually got an ankle injury. Yeah, I remember. You that. know, that's where things just went downhill. And 2017, actually the end of 2016, I was like, nah, this is not it. Let me actually work hard and everything, you know. Mm. 2017, the funny thing is, uh, let me say, maybe Monday was SEs, you know. Mm. We actually stopped my run-up, just went wayward. And then... That Saturday I actually did well. If I jumped the height that I jumped, I was gonna be second by nationals. You know, it was just one of those it days. Happens. Yeah, it happens. Yeah. Twenty eighteen as well. I was on form and everything, but totally. <laughs> and last year, I don't know if you were there by Usas. No, no, not at Usas. No. Yeah, they funny enough. I struggled to clear two fifteen. Mm. Imagine I started to clear two fifteen, <laughs> and the week after with nationals, you know, honestly, you know, I was like, yeah, am I actually gonna yeah. perform here? No, and I took that concept like, you know, it is what it is. Go enjoy yourself, mm. you know, do what you. Then yeah, I jumped at two twenty five and I reclaimed the title. Hey, yeah, man, you know, yeah. you know, like I always say, man, like it always. Whatever you want to do, you must be willing to do here in South Africa as well, you know, because that's where, that's where it starts. End of the day, I mean, let's look at Athletic South Africa. We, we, have, we all have a responsibility to make sure that um, Athletic mm -hmm. is attractive, you know, because when they go out there, they know, okay, these are the guys to look out for, etc. But I mean, here in South Africa, uh, we have to make it such a big spectacle where, you know, you guys are jumping over my 280 there, you know, and we, we need we need uh, people running 44s on the 400 and sub-20s yeah, and sub-10s. And, you know, it creates a buzz, you know, and th that's what people want to see. And, uh, <laughs> and I think uh, we, we're moving in the right direction because every the athletes really do take it, like, uh, serious. We say, hey, guys, we need to step up, you know? Yeah, we need to step up, actually, you know, because, I mean, we've been there, you know, with the, 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 the top countries and everything, just you know, behind them and all. And mm. I think now we've actually also found a formula, you know, to actually mm. keep up with them. Yeah. Know? So, I jump. Yeah. What, what do you think is one of the uh, most important things to take it to the to the next level? You know, I, I do believe there's three, mm -hmm. almost three, four of you guys who can, who can uh, clear the three, the 230. Uh, yeah. in the yeah. next, if not next year, very soon, you know what I mean? Um, yeah. What, what do you think is the most important thing for that? Besides, obviously, competition is is it has mm -hmm. in in a, in a in a very good way, like lifted the standard every uh, season. But yeah. What else is, do you think is important? No, I mean to mention there on the competition. I think you know, as you know, two guys are there in Cape Town, and then two of us are here in in Houting, You know, mm -hmm. I think if we can maybe get like four or five competitions together, mm -hmm. not necessarily just essays and everything you know yeah, can actually you can't necessarily only jump in essays and mm. expect you know to jump in and everything so if it's one of those things where you guys backtrack and actually make a classic shootout yeah high jump yeah okay. that type of thing you know yeah, yeah. Yeah. where we can actually make something happen you know like three four meets you know that can actually make us jump 230 and everything wow that's a good that's definitely a good idea man uh 
Yeah, no, we, we 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 will try our best. You know, we must just get. Uh, you know, if the floodgates can just open. And the funding and everything. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Then I it's, mean, it's tough. It's tough. Yeah, but we'll get them, man. End of the day, we must stay positive and we must uh, keep uh, pushing towards that. You know. But I hear you, man. What you're saying is absolutely correct. Uh, I see Abongile and Kukumana has jumped in here. Liam yeah. Buck is in your corner. Fredericks is in the building. Miko Gops is here. Sean Van Veik, uh, welcome guys. Uh, thanks for joining in. All right, so yeah, I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. I mean, uh, but I also think you know, if, if if us, you know, high jumpers can actually go to Europe and everything, you know, that's mm. we. I saw last year when I went to Europe, actually, that whoa, yeah, some guys that usually start with now two twenties. We in essays, we start with like two or five and everything. You know, yeah. there you must actually be a game, you know, and mm. everything. So I think if we get the exposure basically to be in Europe and everything, I think it'll come easier because if you see someone doing the 230, you can also, you know, be like, if he can do it, why can't I do it? Uh, no, it's absolutely true, man. I mean, end of the day, level of competition just changes your whole yeah. uh, mindset. You know what I mean? It, it does. And I know that's why it usually, usually takes one person to break that barrier and then the gates are open. I mm. mean, if you look in the past few years with the 100 meter, Simon in 2014 went uh, sub 10. Now, I mean, the guys, how many guys? Enrico, exactly. Wayne, no, Atani, uh, Tando Roto, I mean, Emil missed out with a 10 0 1. Then we've got, yeah. uh, I mean, you know, it's, the, the list is, is so long, you know. And I mean, that's exactly yes. what happens when one person just opens up uh, the door, you know. Yeah, breaks the barrier. Absolutely. Okay, so. Then let's look at some of the mm-hmm. other competitions, man. Um, what, what would you say is like one of your biggest highlights on uh, on on the track when it comes to yeah, which 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 what's your biggest highlight? For me, I'd say you know qualifying for my first what's it world world uh, athletic student championship. Yeah, you know, the jumping that that two twenty three qualifier. Well, actually, the, the qualifier was two twenty. Mm-hmm. And when we told me 223, I was like, ah, okay. I was like, yeah, that's a bit, you know, steep. But I actually went for it, you know, and I jumped it. So I think qualifying for the World Student Games, you know, mm-hmm. in my first year of varsity was actually a highlight for me. But the one that takes the cup, it's uh, all African Games, you know, the gold medal. Hey, yeah. Because yeah. the person was well. Yeah, it was. It was absolutely special, you know, because I went into the championships Heartbroken, you know, because I went into what's that, uh, World Student Games. As you know, I think uh, two weeks or three weeks before mm. was a World Student, mm. you know, where I was actually at the peak, you know, of my performance and everything, mm. you know. And I was like, yo, let me just, you know, go there, go enjoy it and everything, mm. you know, then enjoy it and everything, you know. And yeah, I actually got the gold medal. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, like you said, World. Uh... University games, you finished uh, fifth place there. I mean, you know, just yeah. just out of the medal. Uh, I mean, it's difficult, but I mean, to to pick yourself back up and to go win all Africa games. And I mean, at that point, I think yeah. you you yeah you were the only one who brought uh, a gold back. Gold you know? medal. Yeah. Yeah. So you see how things <laughs> work, man. You see how things work. You move from uh, disappointment uh, to allowing South Africans to hear the anthem at the All Africa Games uh, track and field. So, yeah. you know, it always works out, man, as long as you keep going. Yeah, that was a proud moment for me, you know, to actually sing our national anthem. Hey, how, how did you handle that moment? Eh? Ah, no, no, oh. I'll, I'll be cozy. Yes, yes, yes. I'll, be, I'll be tears. Yes, yes. In, inside, I was tearing up. I won't lie. I won't lie. Because, you know, I was like, He's finally, you know, all that hard work has actually paid off. Yeah. You know? No, man. Yeah. It's one of those special moments, man. And I think, you know, and I always say, like, with track, with life, everything, man, you have to hold mm-hmm. on to, like, memories, you know, because memories, memories don't leave, you know, they stick with you. Even when uh, things aren't going as good as you want them to, hey, there'll be tough times, you know, there'll be injuries. And, you know, like, yeah. I always say, you know, like, the thing with life is, like, Life does not have mm-hmm. a, a perfect... There's no perfect balance, you know. When your athletics is going good, nah. uh, you'll find your relationships at home are not as perfect. Yeah. And then it's academics and, you know... But, I mean, you have to yeah. just always 
uh, try your best to to balance uh, everything, you know. Mm. Yeah, but I mean, so yeah, it's all about fighting through, you know, just being, as you said, focused, you know, not letting anything, you know, hinder you mentally. Because with our sport is more mentally, you know, than physically. Because you can be fit, you know, as mm. a ox, but yeah. mentally, hey. if you're not, hey. you're gonna flop. Exactly. It's exact, and it's funny because yeah. it's the years we. When you're like, hey, this year I'm I'm fit, you know, and then you, your mind. <laughs> but I think you know I think yeah. the problem is when when you're in a super uh, in a, in a fantastic physical form, you, know, you, you want your yeah. your body to actually just do things. You don't want to to True. struggle or have to push. You know, you just want Anything. to P B P B P B P B P B. You know, but hey, hey, life doesn't work like that. <laughs> It doesn't, man. It doesn't. All right, man. Uh, see, time is moving here. Uh, we're coming mm-hmm. close to uh, wrapping it up. Um, okay. I want to ask two more questions. Who is who, who is your role model? Did you have a role model uh, uh, coming into athletics? Um, anybody that you found as a role model? Yeah, for me, the person who I found as a role model, you know, is uh, Bondarenko. Bondan yeah. Bondarenko. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, a legend. You know, hey. It's the legendary guy, you know, because yeah. usually we know everyone is there on Mutaz, you know, and all. But, you know, what, what Bondarenko has achieved, you know, it's crazy, you know, with people obviously throwing off, you know, saying that ah, he's not going to perform and everything. He actually, you know, goes and pulls through and shows people that, you know, he is talented. He is also a good high jump, you know. So for me, I'd say it's Boran Bondarenko. Yeah, that guy, and he, and he, and he shows up eh, when it matters. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, when it matters, he actually shows up. That's mentality. And then, uh, final yeah. question: What is your, what would you say is like your motivation? What, what, what is the thing that makes you wake up every day hungry for you know to be a better uh, version of yourself on a day-to-day basis? I mean, this is on a holistic level. Yeah. Now, I mean, for me, you know. It's my family and, you know, as I mentioned, my fiancé, you know, it's one of those things where, you know, if I can show them that, you know, what I do can actually help them, you know, obviously, you know, if you win and all that, you get money and all that, you know, it's to just, you know, make their lives better, you understand. That's mm. that's my thing. I enjoy doing something that can actually change their life. Because mm. they've helped me a lot in my journey, you yeah. know, so I actually want to back you know with yeah the aesthetics and also that's what makes me wake up every day you know push hard and everything to better myself absolutely man good motivation you know when your motivation starts at home uh, it, it will eventually it will always take you uh far you know because that motivation is always yeah. close it's always close to you yeah, yeah. all right man and uh, a message to uh everybody you know the people who support you whether it's local mm-hmm. international uh now, anybody that uh, supports you and, you know, is backing you to to do big things in the future? No, nah, all I can say, you know, is thank you for the support. You know, thank you for motivating me when I actually did not have motivation myself, you know. Yeah. And you know, thank you for believing in me when, you know, not a lot of people did, you know, and seeing something in me that I myself once saw, but, you know, actually through the years where, you know, you do better and all, you don't believe in yourself, mm. you know. So for them, it always encouraged me, you know. And I just want to say thank you for that. And, yeah, you know, I'll make sure that I make you proud next year. Sure. All right, my brother. Uh, yeah. Thanks a lot for your time, man. From Backtrack side, you know, um, yeah, like, yeah, keep shining, you know, keep uh, keep doing what you're doing, you know. It's going to pay off in due season. Uh, it, for sure. It, it's going to pay off. I mean, it already has. Uh, and but yeah. I mean, there's definitely more. There's definitely more to come. So stick at it, man. Keep working. Uh, keep the passion alive. And yeah, I would say, man, especially for the sports that that need to grow, you guys have to take mm-hmm. it by the horns, man. There's a responsibility you have uh, to make sure that it grows. Like don't 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 you don't, you, don't, you can't wait. You know, if you guys need to make plans and say, listen, guys, hey, you guys need to fly down. Let's make a plan. Let's oh, yeah. let's get a ticket. Let's. You know, let's plan, let's sit down, which weekends, you know, that's how you're going to make it happen. Yeah. There's no easy way. Yeah, and I for think, you know, yeah, I think, you know, as you mentioned now, 
I, we have to go back, you know, and talk to the boys and everything and be like, you know, let's all contribute, you know, because we're doing this for us. You know, we yeah. want to improve our high jump, you know, because if we wait for someone to do it for us, it'll never happen. Absolutely, man. Hey, your dreams, you know, in the end of the day, your dreams are your dreams, you know. And I've, what, one thing I've always learned, I've, I've learned in life that, you know, you can't expect people to have the same passion for your dreams uh, than yeah. you do. It's not, it's not their job to do that. They can support where they can. Even if they don't support, it's not because they don't want to or because they hate you. It's just because they've also got their passions that they would rather focus on. True. <laughs> yeah, because if, if it's something that you want to happen, do whatever it takes. You know, don't be like, ah, this person didn't want to help you and all that. You know, fight for your for your for your dream, as you said. You gotta fight, man. You gotta fight. But thanks a lot, brother. I uh, really appreciate it. Thanks to everybody for joining in and logging in this evening. That was back chat. We had uh, the man Mpo Links, uh, Nirex Mpo Links uh, in the building. Uh, you know, yeah. talented jumper. Looking out for you in the future, man. Keep shining. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you guys again December. soon. We're going to keep these conversations going because it's important for South Africa. For me, tell me my my hashtag, Dariwa Venda, hashtag Nda. What's your hashtag, bro? Me, the sky's the limit. <laughs> Hashtag, the sky's the limit. Take care, guys. Good night and God bless. <laughs>